Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many iOS developers. Our viewer has a question about presenting view controllers within a popover on iPad. Here's the situation. Our viewer has a main view controller with a bar button item that triggers a popover via a storyboard segue. While this works perfectly, tapping another button inside the popover unexpectedly presents a full screen view controller. The goal is to keep this new view controller within the bounds of the popover instead. The viewer specifically wants this behavior on iPad as it seems to default to full screen. They prefer to implement this solution using the storyboard, but are open to using Swift code if necessary. Let's explore how we can achieve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To achieve the desired behavior of presenting a view controller within a popover on iPad, we need to adjust the presentation style of the view controller that is being presented from the popover. In your storyboard, select the view controller that you want to present from the popover. In the Attributes Inspector, find the Presentation section. Next, we need to ensure that the popover's content size is set correctly. This will allow the new view controller to fit within the bounds of the popover. If you prefer to do this programmatically, you can set the modal presentation style and preferred content size in your Swift code. Here's an example. Finally, remember to present the view controller from the popover using the present method. This will ensure that it appears correctly within the popover bounds. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To present a view controller within a pop-up in iOS using Storyboard, start by creating a UI view controller and connecting it to a UI bar button item as a pop-over. Then, embed this controller in a navigation controller to maintain the pop-up state. Next, create a second UI view controller and add a UI button in the first UI view controller. Connect this button to the second UI view controller and select Show. This allows navigation between the two controllers. If you want to hide the navigation bar in the pop-up, use the code to hide it in the blue controller. To navigate back from the green controller, implement a back button action. Alternatively, if you prefer not to use a pop-up, you can change the segue from the UI bar button item to present modally and set the presentation style to form sheet. Always use a UI and navigation controller for managing navigation even without a navigation bar, as it provides a stack for pushing and popping view controllers. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To 
present a view controller within a pop-up in iOS, you can use the ES pop-up library. It's simple and requires just a few lines of code. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.